Hey guys, it's Jerry, and, and welcome to another Zomo Lomo video. Um, today, as you can see from my um, icon here, the installer, we are looking at the Norton 2011 beta. Um, Norton is still in beta. I just uh, went in and downloaded the latest beta version uh, of Norton. And if we take a look at the installer, uh, we see that uh, it's, a, it's a tiny installer, but uh, it pulls, this is a, a newer installer where it kind of pulls the, uh, the actual uh, program online. It doesn't, the, you know, the installer itself downloads almost instantaneously, but um, when you go to install it, uh, all everything is installed online. It's, a, it's it's an online installer, so I mean you you get the install right away, but the actual install takes a little bit longer. But at least you're not uh, waiting forever for it to come down. So I'm going to go ahead and install Norton. Uh, once it installs, I'll come back, and, and as always, if there's anything out of the ordinary, I'll come back and show you. But uh, I'll just go ahead and um, and download it. As you can see, now it's downloading the actual program. So uh, I'll wait for everything to download, install, and be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, as you can see here, I've installed Norton Internet Security 2011. It is, as you see here, still in beta, and uh, installation is complete. So if we hit explore, I'm um, assuming it takes you right to the interface. So here's the interface. Uh, wow, this is this is new. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so they give you a seven-day uh, trial, um, and when you download the beta, they email you a uh, an activation key which uh, activates the trial of seven days. And the reason why they only give you seven days is because this is in beta. So the beta version, it gets constantly updated. So uh, they want you to um, go back to the website and keep checking and download any updates that they have available for the beta uh, every week or so, just so you're, you're, you're testing the most recent beta version of Norton. So I'm going to put the key in that I got for uh, my trial and uh, come back and we'll continue the uh, overview. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, just put the key in and it's activating. Um, okay, be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, this is uh, now installed. Um, this looks like a pretty recent beta because all of this down here is new. I, I um, looked at the beta version a few weeks ago and uh, all this down here is new. It gives you an activity map, uh, probably activity virus activity that's going on. Um, it gives you on the online uh, forum, I would assume. Um, so you can uh, you can look at sites that are visit visited. You can look look at alerts that are generated. You can search terms that are used. Um, you have your online backup and also SafeWeb, which is pretty cool. You can actually put in a URL and check the site before you even visit it, and it tells you whether it's a safe site or if it's a site that's been reported as malicious. Uh, so that's really cool. But what, what, what I was getting at, uh, this is probably a very recent beta version because the update, as you can see, was only done two days ago. So that tells me that uh, this must be pretty recent. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to try to update it. And uh, we're going to look at the interface and see what it looks like. Uh, I'll be right back. Real quick, as while uh, I was updating, look at this uh, 
the Autoprotect is already looking at some uh, Trojan that uh, must be on this virtual machine, and it's already uh, taking care of stuff that might be in the background. So I haven't even updated yet. Uh, just installed it, and it's already uh, processing risks on the system. So that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing that I was doing is looking to see the processes that are running for Norton. Um, so let me see here. Symantec uh, is one. It's uh, about 46 and a half megs. Um, it's that's probably the update that's running. Here's another one. It's about 26 megs. Uh, 26 and a half, um, so it's about 70 or so megs. Um, so it's, it's not exactly light, but it is running an update right now, so uh, it's kind of understandable. We'll, we'll take a look to see what it looks like at idle. Uh, so it, uh, you know, once this is done, I'll come back and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see here, we just finished the update and uh, it checked for updates, it downloaded updates and it processed the updates. So everything's done there. So this is the interface. Uh, we are secure and it's uh, broken up in, in three different uh, or three major sections of the uh, suite. You have your computer, computer protection, which is your scanner, your history, which is what it's doing in the background, what it finds, uh, and kind of gives you logs of, uh, of everything that's been going on or, or you know, how Norton is working for you. So as you can see, uh, we just did an update that was completed. Um, it also tells you about unauthorized access that was blocked maybe by the firewall. Um, gives you some information that uh, that happens in the background so this is kind of a good uh, it's a good log to uh, give you recent history your full history your, your scan results uh, resolved and unresolved risks uh, your quarantine your sonar activity I mean it basically gives you uh, gives you everything um, then you have your quarantine so obviously if it finds uh, or in blocks any threats uh, it'll show you here. Obviously, there's nothing right now to uh, show. And then you have your uh, application uh, ratings, similar to last year. Uh, what it does, uh, which is really cool, is it only when you do a scan, it only scans uh, questionable, untrusted um, items, or applications, uh, programs, pieces of software that are on your PC uh, after it does its uh, insight uh, application um, rating scan. So uh, when it's done, it'll tell you what's going to be scanned and what's trusted. So the more you see um, green, the better off you'll be and basically your um, your uh, computer will be on, will only be scanned by uh, looking at anything that's that's untrusted or that's questionable. So um, again, it looks like it looks at everything. Um, it looks at uh, how many uh, users. The Norton community usage: how many how many people actually use these different uh, files and programs? Uh, it tells you whether it's good, it's bad, uh, it's unknown. Uh, so again, anything in green when you do your scan, uh, it's it's gonna it's not gonna scan. So your scans should be a lot quicker with this uh, this insight, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll let that finish running. See what happens. So that's your, your computer protection. Then you have your network protection with uh, vulnerability protection. And this, this, again, is similar to Secunia, I would assume, in that uh, it tells you what has security holes associated with um, programs that you have that might be outdated uh, or, um, you know, or that are prone to uh, attacks. Uh, so... 
what you do is you go down the list and you see uh, anything that uh, that might be vulnerable and um, basically that uh, that's basically it. I, I would assume that you can I haven't even really looked at this yet but I'm assuming that if it finds something that's uh, vulnerable you can uh, locate an update to it you have your network security map um, I'm not going to configure it but uh, you could configure your network and, and trust different uh, computers and uh, network um, uh, components uh, or different computers and printers that you have uh, in your network and then you have your web protection you can um, you can uh, <clears throat> set up logins uh, basically uh, to uh, safeguard yourself and uh, set up logins for different um, areas that you might visit um, so this is kind of like identity safe so you could set that up if you want um, and then you have your identity cards and you have parental controls so you have uh, safe surfing you have browser protection um, and here you can turn everything on and off depending on what you want to use it for okay then here you have your settings uh, if you click on that you have your um, your settings box that comes up and um, what you want to do is make sure that the different uh, configurations are set up like smart definitions I mean you probably would want that on um, remove infected compressed files um, Microsoft Office scan if you want to turn that on and off um, so really you can set up when the idle um, when the idle scan begins or how often and uh, leave it at auto if you wish uh, antivirus and sonar uh, you can configure that for items to include exclude uh, inside protection obviously is on from uh, the factory scan performance profiles everything is uh, pre-configured for you um, all these are turned on your real-time protection any spyware, auto protect, your, your caching, removable media files, uh, everything is pre configured for you. Automatic live update. Uh, then you have your um, network settings that are all pretty much pre configured for you. Your web settings, um, don't download inside notifications, um, everything there again is pre-configured. Um, you can turn on Community Watch where you uh, send information to the Community Watch. Um, let's see, Program Exclusions, you can turn that on. Um, now what I'm looking for is, so this is like your gaming mode here. Uh, you can turn that on if you're playing games and you don't want Norton to uh, interrupt you with pop-ups. Um, the automatic resume delay is 10 minutes, so it does it does scans and things in the background, and uh, you can set how long the computer needs to be idle for before it starts those different background tasks. Um, and then you have your parental controls. The one thing that I don't see that uh, was in other versions of Norton is your early load setting, where it uh, it, it basically it comes on before any other programs have a chance to uh, to turn on so I don't really see that but basically it comes pre pre configured I really like the look of this um, this interface uh, really cool it gives you everything that's been that goes on with um, with Norton and what it's detecting and how much it's using uh, so really good on the next video, we'll do a prevention test and see how it does. So uh, stand by, and I'll be back, and we'll do a, uh, a prevention test. Thanks for watching, guys.